I'm joined by Mesa today, one of our recent PTE academic passing students. And he's got a big smile on his face, so I know he's feeling pretty happy about his recent results. Mesa, tell me how you feel about your recent PTE academic success. I'm quite happy with the outcome of my PTE result and I'm really like been working hard to get this result and there's still room for improvement, but I'm really happy and proud of the outcome that I got so far. Fantastic. Can yeah. you tell me what your score was? So my overall score is um, 64 and uh, if like breakdown for all the area so i got listening 61 reading 65 writing 57 and my my speaking is 83 fantastic you were a fluent fluent guy amazing so um what score did you need for your pte academic exam so for my uh, university admission i supposed to get like a uh, minimum 54 so overall, I already passed all the requirement and it's all good, but there's, there's still some room for my writing that I still need to work on. But yeah, I, I believe if I have more a chance to take it again, I'll, I'll make sure that I would raise up the score. Again. Fantastic. Yeah. I know the, the best thing was is that you got 10 extra points more than the required score you need. Even I need to improve my English sometimes too. English is always being improved. So if you can keep working on your writing, the more the better. I'm sure you'll get that with your university studies. So um, what was the one area of your PTE practice that you needed the most help with? So the, the one area that, that I need the most help with is probably writing. Mm -hmm. As I can see like, uh, the results that I still need to work on my um, vocabulary, spelling, and especially grammar. This is uh, so overall writing is the the part is the most challenging part that I need to work on the most for this PTE exam. Mm -hmm. But the, all all that matters is that you got the score that you needed, which is amazing. And uh, yeah. what do you think was the best part of your Swoosh English uh, PTE package? Well, uh, the best part was I, I can say is the most is the live class. This live class like helped me to like do the prom exercise. Like right now that I don't need to like be procrastinated about and I can uh, interact with the teacher, ask some question that I've been wondering how can I approach different uh, exam, different tasks. So yeah, live class is the most uh, useful one that I got from this swoosh English, yeah. Fantastic, I'm glad you enjoyed the classes and I hope that the teachers were, uh, were nice and fun and not too strict, but they had a really good time uh, teaching you. They told me that themselves. They really enjoyed having you as a student and that's the important thing. So um, what would be your number one advice for a PT academic student to pass their exam the first time? So uh, my advice for the student who are planning to take this PTE exam is to make sure that they practice more and more, especially the, the, part, the area that they think that themselves need most improving. So they need to practice a lot. I mean, practice make perfect. So the more you practice, the better you get. And during the free time, try to listen to some academic podcast or read some book related to academic stuff. So during the exam, you won't get um, panic. Yeah, that, that's all I can say for my advice. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be prepared going into the exam, know it well and do as much practice. Mesa, you're a model student. Do you think you would have passed your uh, PTE exam if it wasn't for your Swoosh English premium package? Well, my, uh, I, because I have taken the exam two times already and it was not, uh, it doesn't, it didn't reach the, the criteria that I want to get. But then with, with the help of Swoosh English, I, I can say that I went to the room with more confident that I'm mm. sure that I'm gonna pass the exam and reach the criteria that the university want to have from me, yeah. 
fantastic you know uh third time lucky as we say fantastic work so now that you've passed the exam uh you're happy you're uh, you feel like you made a massive achievement what's the next step for you what are your plans now with your uh pte academic certification well, now for now, I'm going to use my uh, result for my current university admission. Mm -hmm. But then I w uh, I'm still trying to improve more on my English to make sure that I am being more ready. And I will try to um, take the exam one more time to prepare oh. for my master's degree as now I'm in my third year in my bachelor degree. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep on practicing English to make sure that I got the, the best out of me and then be able to apply for a master's degree in the future. That's that my plan for this English exam. Wow, amazing. Never stop studying, right? So uh, for the sake of anyone who's watching, what university are you going to very soon? What's your big exciting move you're doing? Well, for me, right, uh, right now, I am in the bachelor degree mm -hmm. that uh, the collaboration between uh, Thailand and Australia. So one of my choice is to go to Australia, but I'm also planning to try to apply some of the university in Europe. So English is one of the criteria that I need to get. So this is the reason why I'm trying to improve my English as well. Yeah. Amazing, Mesa. So uh, I think you're an absolute in inspiration. Uh, I can see how happy you are for passing this exam and how much of how much ambition you still have with continuing your English. So I think that you will be a massive um, motivational aspect to many PTE academic students who want to pass the exam too. So well done on your results. I want to wish you the best of luck with your next steps, uh, with your bachelor's degree, your move to Australia or Europe, and then your master's degree as well. So pleasure having you as a student here with us at Swoosh Mesa. Good luck with your future. Take care of yourself.